defiant district attorney, Fonnie Willis, is breaking her silence. In a 176-page filing, she acknowledges a personal relationship with Nathan Wade, the special prosecutor she appointed to lead the Georgia election case against former President Donald Trump. But Willis denies any financial benefit or conflict of interest, writing, while the allegations are salacious and garnered the media attention they were designed to obtain, they do not provide any basis for her to be removed from the case. That's what Trump co-defendant Michael Roman has asked for, accusing Willis of financially benefiting from a romantic relationship, saying Wade used money he earned from the DA's office to pay for vacations together. But in her response, Willis today provided her own receipts, saying travel was evenly split between the two and arguing Wade made more money than the other special prosecutors only because he did much more work. The filing included a sworn affidavit from Wade, who said while the two were professional associates and friends when he was hired on the case, they later developed a personal relationship. But in a response of his own, Michael Roman says he has witnesses who will testify the relationship actually began before Wade's hiring. All of it has brought intense scrutiny to the closely watched case against Donald Trump and to Willis herself. Mr. Trump has also sought to have the charges dismissed and today posting this scam is totally discredited and over. It all comes amid new pressure from Congress, where Republican Congressman Jim Jordan has subpoenaed Willis, seeking documents to determine whether she misused federal money. And back in Georgia, Willis and Wade have been subpoenaed to testify on these allegations in two weeks. But Willis wants a judge to cancel that hearing and vows to fight the subpoena, calling it an attempt to embarrass and harass her personally. I want to read it for you if I can. Basically, Willis writes, the affidavit also clarifies that although D.A. Willis and Special Prosecutor Wade have been professional associates and friends since 2019, there was no personal relationship between them in November 2021 at the time of Special Prosecutor Wade's appointment, and defendants offer no support for their insistence that the exercise of any prosecutorial discretion in this case was impacted by any personal relationship. She goes on to say, courts have held for decades in both civil and criminal context personal relationships among lawyers, even on opposing sides of litigation, do not constitute impermissible conflicts of interest. So that's the crux of their argument right there. Oh, yo, yo, it's Big Ant the Spokesman, man. We back. Another edition of Urban Politicians TV, UPTV. Make sure you stay on your pivot at all times, man. Had to come tap in. And if you've been following along for the last few years and been paying attention to what's going on, you can probably come to the conclusion that Fulton County, Atlanta, Georgia, been full of a lot of chaos from, we said, rap groups get indicted of allegedly being involved in crimes and things of that nature with gang charges to the point where we see actual former President Donald Trump and his team get indicted on another charge to the point where we see Fulton County Jail federal investigations popped off because of the situation with the upkeep of the jail inmates dying in custody and everything like that and it just keeps getting wilder and wilder and i had a link in the description where you can watch this in full and, and i'm gonna get a little bit more into the write-up from cbs to break it down a little bit more what's going on but if you've been listening, you heard me speak on this before. It's like an episode of The Wire, how everything get tied in from the streets all the way to the corporate level, all the way to the government, and they all getting intertwined and everything is what they say, seven degrees of separations where we got street rappers, dudes from Atlanta, from the city, from the town, from the streets of Atlanta who have made it to success status, get indicted by Funny Willis. Well, that DA, and that team is the same team that made history in America, indicted Donald Trump, the first former president that be booked and took in the jail and take a mug shot. And everybody know who Donald Trump is globally, most definitely. Probably one of the most pres popular presidents ever. And I say you got to put a little bit of scandal in this also because it got to the point they didn't dug up some on Funny Willis and said, we're going to kill your credibility right here. Yo, top prosecutor Wade, what's going on with this? Why is he getting paid more? They put that out there. Oh, they have an improper relationship. What's that really about? That's the whole scandal side of it. So you got to put the wire, how everything tied in from the block, the streets, the neighborhoods of the urban community, all the way to the high level of, hey, 
We talking presidential stuff now. And it got to this point where she put in this, they put their side out like, nah, it ain't that. These dates ain't right. But Donald Trump and his team and his guy Roman is saying, nah, that ain't that. She really doing something out of pocket. It's all about killing credibility in the courtroom. That's what they going to go for. Funny Willis, you did something foul. She moving wrong. We going to blow this up. And now we can kill her credibility. This case right here is money motivated. It's still making these allegations and things like that. We'll just have to wait and see. And on Funny Willis' side, they said, nah, none of this is going on. We started dating after we got the, after he got the job. He got paid more because he did more work. And we got all the receipts to prove that we're not supposed to be doing this. Us having a relationship outside of this, we are messing around now. Funny Willis out here getting a little one too on, you know what I'm saying? What 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 uh Jody Mama say on baby boy? Mama gotta have a life too, so she having her life too, doing her thing with the dude that she naturally linked up with, but it's gonna look away in the media. That's what they wanna do. They gonna drag you down through that hole. You got this, oh, we got something on that. That's how these people at the top win cases. It's all about making you look bad, nigga. What Olivia Pope gonna do? Kill some credibility inside that coat room. And the write-up says this. In Willis' response to the motion on Friday, her attorney argued that the efforts to disqualify her have no merit and should be summarily denied without evidentiary hearing. While the allegations raised in the various motions are salacious and garnered to the media attention, they were designed to obtain none, provide this court with any basis upon which to order the release they seek. The filing from Willis' attorney says, Willis's lawyers wrote that she never benefited financially from her relationship with Nathan Wade and that she has no financial or personal conflict of interest that justifies disqualification. To be absolutely clear, the personal relationship between Special Prosecutor Wade and District Attorney Willis has never involved direct or indirect financial benefit to District Attorney Willis. The filing read, while professional associates and friends since 2019, there was no personal relationship between District Attorney Willis and me prior to or at the time of my appointment as special prosecutor in 2021, Nathan Wade said. According to the filing, in 2022, District Attorney Willis and I developed a personal relationship in addition to our professional association and friendship, said Nathan Wade, according to the court documents. They put their side out there, and right now, the two faces on this side with the DA and the prosecutor, Cusa, it's going to be Willis and Wade versus Trump and Roman. Because Trump going to ride with his team like, hold on, nigga, I'm indicted. Roman lawyer and his team coming up with it, but I'm going to ride on that too. This whole thing need to be threw out right here. They going to look in there to dig you out, see what they can pick and find, put that up in the media and attack it. Well, y'all two sleeping around with each other. They came out and admitted it. didn't have no choices out there, but they said, hey, us sleeping together, us getting down, doing a nasty baby off a long day of work, that's our own personal business, man. We just, uh, 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 you know, that's how it be sometimes. But they said, nah, nigga, we gonna need to see more proof. We'll see if they have to go to court. They got they both sides. They saying one thing, they saying another. We shall see how everything play out. Tell me what y'all think. We got more coming, more videos, all that. 1,000 for shit show. Stay on your pivot.